you know, I've been thinking a lot when the reports are coming out that Russia has imposed these laws, you can be imprisoned up to, I think, 15 years for essentially publishing anything that questions the dominant narrative that even describing this as a war. Now, the US didn't imprison journalists as such, but people were certainly losing their jobs in the coverage of previous conflicts. And you yourself have direct experience of this. When you question the dominant narrative and also you use language that has not been approved. So instead of saying collateral damage, you would say victims of war. No doubt. Again, during wartime, people did lose their jobs here and it wasn't a lot. But when someone loses their job at MSNBC, as we did, everyone in the building knows what happened. And everyone in the building then engages in self-censorship. Prior to the invasion of Iraq on the Phil Donahue show, which was the most watched program on MSNBC when we were terminated uh, three weeks before the invasion of Iraq, we were putting people on the air who were saying, look, this is going to be a violation of international law. This is going to be uh, devastating to civilians. For saying those things, we lost our jobs. Today, I'm happy to say that the U.S. media is covering the violation of international law committed by the Russians. Uh, I'm happy to see its empathetic coverage of all these civilians that are being terrorized because of missiles and bombs dropping in their neighborhoods. Well, this happened in spades far more severely uh, when the U.S. was bombing Iraq. And Now, I'm seeing all this sensitive coverage. And again, I'm not criticizing today's coverage. I'm criticizing what happens when the U.S. invades a country. And believe me, the U.S. will invade another country in the coming years. It's what we've done for decade after decade. But when I hear about the the pregnant women giving birth in shelters, in terror, do you think during the weeks and months of shock and awe, one of the most violent bombing campaigns in global history that the U.S. committed over Baghdad and other places in Iraq. Do you think that magically women in Iraq quit giving birth? Uh, it just So there's this magical uh, thinking when the U.S. is dropping the bombs. And uh, I would say, uh, I mentioned that the CNN directives telling people all of their anchors and staff members and, and correspondents when the U.S. had invaded Afghanistan, that basically civilian deaths were off limits. It continued, made for 20 years. You know, I was watching all of these summing up reports on TV news and Lester Holt, who I worked with at MSNBC, and he was basically a patsy for all the lies that led to the invasion of Iraq when I worked with him at MSNBC. Now he's the anchor of NBC Nightly News and Lester's not one of the worst journalists. He's probably better than most, but he's he did his summing up of Afghanistan last April and he called it uh, America's longest war. And in his summing up report, he gives one and only one figure on the death toll. He says, that the war caused 2,300 American deaths. So here you have one and only one death toll is the U.S. soldiers, not the civilians. He did not mention that at the conservative estimate, more than 70,000 Afghan civilians had died since the invasion of 2001. He didn't mention a pretty recent United Nations report uh, that showed that in the first six months of 2019, more Afghan civilians were killed by the U.S. and its allies than were killed by the horrific Taliban and its allies. So again, the issue of civilian deaths, which should be forefronted, foregrounded in every war coverage, is never done that when the US is the culprit. And that's why I'm, my, my head is spinning as I see some of these correspondents and anchors that I worked with 20 years ago. All of a sudden, they found it newsworthy that modern warfare is killing all these civilians and causing terror, even if you're not killed. 
imagine when you've got kids in your home and bombs are dropping all over the place. We never heard that when the victims were Muslims, when the victims were Iraqis, when the victims were Afghans, when the victims were poor people in the tenements of Panama City and the U.S. invaded Panama. That, that was off limits. And every journalist in the U.S. understood that's off limits to talk about civilian deaths and civilian trauma.